Hey everybody, Billy from Billy's Bike Adventures. Thanks for tuning in today and watching the video. Now today I'm going to be doing an initial review of the Slummit Cub 2 tent and I'm going to be comparing that after I've done my initial rev review to the Slummit Inc. 1 tent which I purchased a while ago. So if that's of some interest to you, keep watching and let's get into it. If you haven't subscribed yet, then please subscribe by hitting that red subscribe button, the bell notification and then all to make sure you don't miss out on any updates. So straight away you'll notice a size difference between these two tents. The Slummit Inc. 1 obviously smaller at 2.5 kilos or 5.6 pounds and the Cub 2 is um, 3.9 kilos or 8.5 pounds in weight. Now the size difference does not put me off with the Cub 2 um, given the size of the adventure bikes that we tend to ride nowadays, uh, especially the larger cylinder uh, bikes. Um, the Cub 2 is not going to be an issue on the back of your bike. Um, I don't even think it'll be an issue on the back of a smaller bike either. I'd be quite happy to have this on the back of a 619 Duro R. Um, so um, for me, the size difference doesn't really that make, make that much of a difference. The weight difference is also insurmountable given that um, the weight that we carry with these bikes is not really going to add anything to the weight to the weight on the bike. So for me, um, even though there is a physical size difference, there's no difference for me in which, which, whichever one I have on the back of the bike apart from obviously what it's like when I'm actually in them. So when I did my review of the Slummit Inca 1 last year, um, I did a practical demonstration of showing you how quickly it is to, and easy it is to set up these tents. Now, if you want to see how quickly I set up the Inca 1, the Slummit Inca 1, there's a card up top. Just click on that card and that will take you to the video for that. I'm going to do the same for this one. and I'm going to, I'm going to set it up, um, uh, but not actually put the guide ropes in. So this is essentially setting it up, putting the flash frame tent up, which is very easy and very quick and showing you how quickly it is to do that. Very good for if you're in situations where you've stopped and it's absolutely pouring down with rain. It'll just demonstrate how quickly you can get these tents up and into the tent. So got my, um, my phone here. So I'm gonna test myself um, against the stopwatch about how quickly and show you how quickly it is to set these tents up. So with that, ready, steady, go. So that's the flash frame tent set up. As you can see, it's very, very quick. It took me one minute and six seconds to actually get this tent from uh, packed to out of the bag and set up, not tied down. So if it's, if it's very windy, you're gonna to wanna to be able to um, peg it down. But if it's pouring down with rain and not too windy, at least you can get into some shelter straight away and get it done within about a minute, a minute and minute and 10 seconds. So really, really quick and as good as the Slummit Inca one. Right, now that the tent's set up, let's have a look inside and show you what it looks like inside with me in it. Again, uh, check the card up top for a comparison of how I fit and look in inside the Inca 1 tent. Uh, but um, let's have a look inside this one and see how it compares and see how much space I get inside this one. So I'm inside the tent now and uh, I have to say much more space um, given that the size of the tent is... Um, a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier. Um, the actual size of the tent is much more comfortable for a man of my height, six foot two I am. And I can actually lie down in this tent from end to end across the tent. And just like the Inca one, I've got very little headroom um, at, at, at the back. My feet are actually, I don't know if you can see that down there. My feet are touching right down at the end. The beauty of this tent, however, is that I can lie diagonally and I've got a little bit more headspace here. My feet, I've got more space down at the end for my feet and there is plenty of room to the side of me and to this side of me to store kit. So I could actually have 
a bit more of a of a mattress in here, uh, something a bit more comfortable than just a, a small inflatable mattress, uh, potentially a, a camping bed uh, that I could pack it if I could, if I could find one that was small enough um, to pack away on my bike and that could uh, take my weight. Uh, being six, not because I'm fat, but six foot two. I'm, uh, I'm not a, a light chap, 95 kilos. Uh, but I can actually fit a bed in here and sleep quite comfortably in this tent and with all my kit in here, snug as a bug in a rug. So there are a number of pockets in the tent, uh, six pockets or four pockets on this side I should say sorry and equally so four pockets on this side of the tent as well. Two vents, one up this end, one up that end. Um, comparing that to the Slummit 1, the, uh, the Inca Slummit 1, there's um, three vents on that tent, there's only two vents in this tent. Um, but I have to say I'm much more, I would feel much more comfortable uh, in this tent. Uh, the ground sheet is exactly the same and, it's, and it, is, um, it is a waterproof ground sheet that is stitched uh, up off the floor. So as you can see um, the ground sheet actually comes up off the floor and is, and, is, and is stitched a little bit off the tent and that's great obviously for if there is water um, unfortunately if it's raining and there's water running down past or underneath your tent uh, the water is not going to get into uh, the tent by running along the ground which is great. The only other problem with this tent is that um, in comparison to the Inca 1, the hydrostatic head waterproofness. Um, now, if you're not sure what hydrostatic his head is, check out the video at the top. I've got an explanation in there as to what hydrostatic head is. It's essentially the waterproofness. This is 4,000 millimeters. The Inca Slummit 1 is 5,000 millimeters. So not as waterproof as the other one, um, but um, I've got a lot more space in here and I would feel a lot more comfortable in here than what I did um, when I was away in the Pyrenees in the Inca 1. So here's a size comparison of the tents. Um, as you can see this one's a lot bigger and uh, you would expect that with there being a two berth tent actually. Um, three of us can actually sleep in there, my wife and my daughter have actually um, laid down in here. We could quite comfortably sleep in there as well. We wouldn't have any of our kit with us in there, but um, we could quite comfortably sleep three of us in there. Um, this one was a great tent, I have to say. The Inca one was really, really great. Unfortunately for me, I'm just too big for it. Um, so if you're over six foot, I wouldn't recommend the Inca one. Um, have a look at the video and see what you think. Um, but I very much like the, uh, the Cub 2, um, and it's probably the next one that I'm gonna take away with me on my next trip later this year. So this is great, the, the Summit Cub 2 is great for me, for a person of my size, six foot two. I can sleep in here quite comfortably diagonally and I can have the reassurance of my kit being in here secure with me um, and out of, the, out of the elements as well. Now, the alternative is that you could take the Slummit Inca 1 and have a bivy with you and just uh, make a shelter with your bivy uh, to uh, give some protection to your kit from the elements. Um, however, this is the preferred option for me. It just means me having to take a bigger tent, but that's no problem. Uh, the weight and the size difference is really going to be um, non-noticeable in terms of the bike that I'll be riding and uh, the kit that I'm going to be carrying. So for me, a great um, uh, a great addition to my camping kit um, and I will prefer to take this one over the Slummit Inca one and that is purely based on the fact that I'm six foot two and that is not going to be the Slummit Inca one does not house anybody over six foot that well. So I've shown you how easy it is to put this tent up let's show you how easy it is now to put it down and pack it away.
So that's the Slummit Cub 2 packed away, ready to go on the back of your bike and ready for your next destination. So I hope that's been a useful review or initial review of the Slummit Cub 2 tent. And if you've watched my other video of the review of the Slummit Inca 1 um, and how that compares to this tent, I hope you found both of those videos useful. Uh, for me, I will be taking the Cub 2 on my next camping trip. So I'm very much looking forward to seeing how it performs over the course of a few nights or a little bit longer. And I'll come back to you on how that's performed. If you like the video today or got any questions, um, give me a thumbs up and also leave a, a comment below in the description or a question and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But for now, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again very soon.